simply go to www.shepway.gov.uk forward slash tell us what you think. You'll be asked to log in or register before you can leave a comment. Click on Places and Policies Local Plan Preferred Options. Click on Read and Comment on Document. Now you can scroll through the policy index until you find the site you're interested in. You can see the places are divided into areas. Urban Area, Romney Marsh, North Downs. Click on the name of the site. Here we are at the policy for Cheriton Local Centre. If we scroll up, we can see more information and a map outlining the site. The policy explains the plans in detail, and to the right there are two tabs. One where you can read the comments of others, and one where you can leave your comments. You type your comments here, and click Submit. I found it's also a good opportunity to have a look around and investigate some other proposed sites. For instance, did you know that there are proposals to turn the derelict Tram Road railway line into a linear park, cycle and pedestrian path, leading all the way to the harbour area? Some plans I really like the look of, but others I do have concerns about. But I want Shepway Council to take into consideration both my positive and negative views, because ultimately they will both shape the final decisions. What about the green spaces in the children's parks? What about local jobs? What about our local shops? The environment, the countryside, all the things that I think make Shetway a great place to live. The good news is, the policies listed in the index below the places cover all of these issues. Here's our chance to read about how the council would like to tackle them, then leave our own thoughts and comments. And thankfully, in my opinion, much of it makes for very reassuring reading. So I would urge anyone who cares about the future of Shepway to go online now before the consultation closes on Friday the 18th of November and have your say.